Hey guys, it's Rich with the Monday Spot and Pagan Perspective. Uh, this week we are discussing elementals. Excuse the hair because I just woke up not too long ago and I'm going back to work for my actual job, not doing Honor Guard now, and I'll be working night shift. So you're probably going to see a lot of videos of me like right as I wake up. So anyway, this week we're discussing elementals and there were a bunch of questions and Kara had two highlighted specifically for us to uh, to go ahead and answer so those will be the ones in the description bar as usual and they are as followed when one finds what element they they wish to be working with what would you suggest one do and then the other one is sorry Coda come here are, are you now or have you worked with a particular element? If so, which one? And how did you work with it? Okay, I'm gonna answer these in reverse. So, and I have my sheet here. And I've actually not worked with a particular element. Um, it's more of the, the situation that I don't know which one I wanna work with more or which one I want to start working with, or any workings I actually want to do particular to one element or another. But it does interest me very much in doing so, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it and when I want to do it. So I can't really speak to how working with an elemental has actually worked for me since I haven't done it. So. <clears throat> I really can't give you an answer on that one. Now the first question, whenever one finds an element to work with, uh, what would I suggest that they do? And th this is something that I would probably do, other than like a nightly meditation on that elemental and on the working that you're doing, I would, uh, during the day, or in my case during the night, whenever I'm at work or, you know, whatnot. I would probably carry a a stone, like a a crystal or uh, a particular stone that has a connection with that elemental. That way, you you are in essence connecting to that elemental in some way, shape, or form. Or I would create like a either like a coin or a little symbol uh, of that element onto something that you know you can carry around with you be it you know a piece of plastic you know that you just put on with a uh, with a permanent marker uh, if you have a stone like if you do rune stones a rune that goes particularly oh excuse me with that element <clears throat> or something of that nature. Uh, for me, I would probably do a piece of metal since I work in metal. So <clears throat> I could probably make a, a symbol on a piece of metal fairly easily. I have, you know, a lot of accessibility to that. So something of that nature I would probably do, which actually gives me an idea of making uh, runes or something like that out of, you know, little metal discs which I'm actually seriously considering right now. And I've never thought of it before. So, yes, those are my answers to this week's questions. And uh, I know Cara had some other suggestions that she put in the description whenever she sent it to us, and I'm going to let her do that because I don't want to, like, take her thunder or, you know, rain on her parade. So, Coda's getting a little antsy right now, so I'm going to have to let him outside. So until next time, uh, may you have a great day and a better tomorrow. I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.